Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Leafs Oasis. Yes, we are going gung ho with this series, and I am absolutely loving it. It's just, it's just a little change up that I needed, you know. So, yeah, welcome. My name is Leaf. If you guys are new here, welcome. Uh, this is what I do. I do little challenges, and I do like these little cute little zoos. Um, so yeah, I'm just like trying to get back into the groove. I haven't really been making too many videos as of late. Um, I'm just trying to like get back into the groove with everything. I really haven't been making any, you know, modding videos just because I haven't really been making anything myself. Uh, this is gonna crash in just like five minutes. You just wait. I accidentally hit like research because, you know, I'm a complete idiot. And that was like the whole big main thing on why... You know, I haven't been making too many Leafs Animal Farm or Leafs Oasis videos recently. Uh, I figured out what mod it was. I think it was a Sayola by Trump. He already updated it. There we go. We crashed right there. But um, yeah, we actually get one of our bighorn sheep back in there because the other one died. And yeah, we're working on this little like penguin viewing platform over here. Call that some alliteration, why don't you? So yeah, I decided to take advantage of like the natural water around us. I figured, you know what, the penguins want to swim, we might as well make them swim, you know? So here I go, just trying to make sure that they can't really escape by blocking them in with some like, you know, chain link. I'm not really sure if that would work in real life because, you know, penguins, they're kind of clever, but you know, it's just how it be sometimes. So this mod was made by Nick, he like imported the model himself and made all the edits needed. And I helped him code it, and it is such a wonderful addition. If only we had them in the real game. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Oh my god. But, um, yeah. I just figured I really wanted to get these guys in here. I saw them on the market, and I was like, you know what? We have a breeding pair. Why not just start pumping out some babies, you know? And I also opt to do a little bit of cleanup around here as well. And you guys might notice that the footage is kind of sped up, but... You know, it's not really like 700% sped up. So, you know, I just wanted to do a little bit in here. The penguins don't actually like too many trees, which is odd. So I kind of opted for, you know, just a sparse foliage look to it. And I also try and go ham with the rock work just to make sure that they're all happy. They also needed some hard shelter above them. So I basically just raise up these parts of the platforms and I think it looks really nice. I may decorate it somewhere down the line, just to make it look a little bit cuter. Just because, you know, all these penguins would want something, like, you know, to hang out in, but we'll do that soon enough. But yeah, you can see me start to do the rock work in here, and I really do hope you guys are enjoying this series thus far. I know Leafs Animal Farm was a bit of a chaotic mess, and we will certainly get back into that pretty soon. We still have a lot more of the map to cover, so we'll certainly do that soon enough. Um, in terms of other stuff happening on the channel, I really do want to get into Sims. Like, you know what? I'm honestly going to see if I can install it right now, honestly, because I really do miss it. And they have so many new awesome things coming out. And if everything goes on sale, you know, I'm a little bit of cheap. I'm a little bit of a cheapy with uh, my DLCs and whatnot. So I'll honestly see if I could get back into that for you guys, because I know I put out a poll. And a lot of you guys would be like, eh, I wouldn't really want to watch it, but you know, this is my channel. And I will be sure to make it entertaining enough for you guys, I promise. So yeah, that's something that I definitely want to do down the line. You can see me start to put like a little bit of foliage in this area, as well as like a few penguin statues. I figure it might as well just like, you know, uh, balance it out a little bit more. And I do actually, I try and put the animal talk there, but I didn't have any power. But I fix that later down the line because, you know, it, it just needs to happen, you know? So, what else do I do? I also decorate, like, the rest of this area. I know in the last episode I was like, you know, maybe I'm not going to decorate that area. But here I am, decorating that area. And you can see we're actually starting to build up some more money in the lower left corner. Um, I essentially just let the game run for a little bit more let the animals get a little bit happier. I think towards the end of this I actually do unlock a lot more stuff for research. So I do give like all the animals like all the research that they need. And they're pretty happy because of it. And yeah, it just basically makes up for all the lost time we had when we, you know, did all the Fennec Fox, uh, Striped Hyena, 
and the Gariole exhibits, and I actually do put a scorpion habitat over here as well. Just because, you know, we... They're easy money makers, you know? And, you know, if we want to make a bigger and better zoo, we're going to need a lot more money. So, I threw some of those guys in there. Figure, why not? And I should decorate it later down the line. I think I'll probably record an episode or two, like, you know, just me doing some TLC around there. Just making sure everything's holding up in just a little bit. But besides that, this is pretty much all said and done. I just do like a few more tidying up things, like for instance, I put this right here. I don't actually put that one right there, I actually put a nice big planter on top of a rock. And I use a little bit of mulch too, and I dress it up a little bit so it looks really nice. And you can see I start to do like a little bit of a jagged rock kind of thing. I really do like how that turned out. It's simple, it's understated, and it really does provide some shade for the guests. Here I am just doing a little bit of work for the... Uh, I was about to say spiders, but no, the um, scorpions. And I do put some benches around here. I may put like, you know, another food or drink. I should probably put like a merchandise stand somewhere. And I do put some benches around here. And we are ending the video pretty soon. So I just want to thank you guys. I know it was a little bit of a quiet one this day, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. So enjoy the last pit of this, last pit of this video. Wow. Enjoy the last bit of this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.